Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you are all doing well. So today I'm going to discuss with you about uh, WordPress and WordPress plugins. So uh, what are the key plugins that I use for all of my WordPress projects? The first plugin is Akismet. So Akismet is for anti-spamming and you have a post which is uh, you write content and then there is a comment section and Akismet is protecting your uh, site from spammer comments, spammers. So basically a lot of people just put uh, any meaningless messages with their website link uh, into comment box to increase their website uh, ranking, but that is not really good for you. Uh, you need to prevent those and Axmet is a very good tool to prevent this. Uh, you can use Akismet Pro or Akismet Free. I I have for some of my sites I use Akismet Free and for some of my sites I use Akismet Pro. Both are good. Uh, for a small site, I think Akismet uh, Free version it should be fine. But for a very established site with a lot of visitors there, you should use Akismet Pro. Okay. The next plugin is Easy Develop Contents. So easy develop contents is a, a plugin that creates very nice develop contents for you. Let me give you an example. So um, if I search here, like AWS, so PHP 8 in Nginx AWS, I should see my site on top. And if you go to my site and here, here you see, you see table of contents where you see all the options or all the things that I'm going to discuss in this article. And it's, it may be helpful that you don't want to know what is Nginx, you just wanted to uh, go to the installation process. Then that skips your time, saves your time and you directly move to that part. And when you have a big article like this one, and that, that's really helps for the visitors to find the content which they want. For example, here I have specified that which part you want to uh, read. For example, you wanted to read uh, by creating YouTube videos, then you directly go to the YouTube video section. You avoid skipping that part. But without develop contents, you actually don't know what will be inside that uh, blog post or inside that article. And you need to read the whole article. And that's really, really boring or tedious. And all no user wants to do that. They want to have a summary of what they are going to expect into the article. And either they can decide that this is the blog post that I'm going to read, or I will just escape and search for other things. So this plugin is very important. Then Elementor. Elementor is the page builder and I really like it, the Elementor. It's, uh, it's gives you drag and drop features with create really nice pages. For example, I created this uh, homepage using Elementor. So this is uh, showing ads. Anyway, so I created this. Uh, I'm not a graphic designer or a web designer. I just uh, Google, watch some YouTube videos and then created this uh, homepage with Elementor. So if I can do it, I think you can also do it. So using Elementor, you can create very nice, friendly pages, and you can create interactive sections over there as well. You can design anything as you want, where the normal Gutenberg editor doesn't support that. So Elementor is a must have plugin for any WordPress new installation. Then Rank Math SEO. SEO is a big part of your uh, website or blog. So if you wanted to uh, rank your website in Google, you need to have a SEO plugin. And there are a lot of, lot of SEO plugins if you go to the WordPress plugin directory. And two of them are mostly highly used. One of them is Yoast SEO, another one is Rank Math SEO. Now Yoast SEO is a very nice plugin, but they have some features which if you wanted to use, then you need to buy for a pro version. Whereas Rank Map, all the features or all the good features of Yoast is available in Rank Map as a free. So that's why I prefer to use Rank Map for the SEO plugin 
it gives you option to uh, rank your uh, website. For example, they give a rating from zero to 100. And based on that rating, you can decide that whether your page is SEO optimized or not, whether how can you improve your SEO of your page by seeing those tips. They give tips and they give really, really good tips, professional tips, which you can find also in Yoast uh, as well. But you need to use the pro version, whereas Rank Math, you can use the free version as well. I really uh, like this plugin and I recommend everyone to use this Rank Math SEO if you use pro version, that is also fine. If you use the free version, that will also serve your purpose. Okay, the next plugin I'm going to use that is the Sashe Social Share. That's the plugin that I'm going to, I use uh, most of my blog sites and what it does, it does gives you an option to share your blog with um, other social platforms. For example, you like this blog, uh, for example, this one, Best Gadgets for Developers, and you like this blog and you want to share it with your Facebook, then you can just do it using the share button here. Click here, then you uh, choose where you want to share. I want to share it as a page. Then I choose the page. Uh, it's coming. I think it's internet speed. It's second time. Anyway, this is my page. And I just share the post. That's simple. Social sharing is very important for your blog. If you wanted to rank your blog, uh, if you wanted to have a good visitors, you need to share your blog with different social media. And there are a lot of, lot of social media supports available in Sashi. I use basically these six, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and WhatsApp. You have this <clears throat> floating bar at the right side, and also you can have a share icon at the bottom as well here it is so you have two share icons you can either disable it or disable this as well it's up to you but this plugin i use all of my projects where uh, i write articles i create blogs and then i want to share with my friends families my colleagues others i use this sashe social share then the next plugin site kit by google this is the cool plugin from google so far if you have a blog site and uh, you need to use Google Analytics, Google Search Console, because your site, nobody will find your site. Nobody knows your domain. And only when Google reads your content, index, their, index your content to the search pages, only that time your site is visible to others. For example, if I uh, search in best AWS uh, books, then I should show my blog on the third position. So how did I get there? I did nothing actually. I just read this blog post. I just created this blog post, uh, I think a year ago. And then I uh, used Google uh, Search Console. I requested Google to index this page. And after six or seven months, it is now Google has indexed this page and it is now ranking on the top of the search query. So I also uh, use some other tips as well, which I will list up in my other videos for SEO related and how I can, how I, I created a simple blog and uh, make my page into goes to the number one position or one to three. I will discuss this as well. I don't do any black hat techniques like backlinks or posting messages or blog posting, guest posting, etc. All I have been done is write good content and good blog about the things that I like to discuss with other people, the knowledge that I want to share with my audience and the uh, help that I want to give to others using this platform. So Google search, Google site kit, uh, site kit by Google, this must, must plugin. You should install this, the very first plugin, and then you should link with your Google account to this uh, website. And then Google will automatically start indexing your content and they will show your content to the search pages based on the keywords that you wanted to rank. 
So that being said, let's go to the next one. The ultimate blocks, that's a plugin that I use for some of my uh, projects and some of my projects I don't. This is actually very, gives you very nice buttons. For example, uh, the WordPress, uh, the, the default buttons are not really good. So for example, you see if I have, I, I could use uh, buttons here, maybe I don't have a button here, but if, if you wanted to use buttons, very nice buttons, then you should use this plugin. So for example, you are, you want to show a, a price button purchase in Amazon or buy in Amazon, then these blocks can give you a very nice buy now button. That's very nice, stylish, and not the boring one that comes with default. Okay, the next one is WP Offload Media Lite, which is a very uh, cool plugin. This plugin actually helps you to store your images into S3. So I don't store my images into my local server. For example, if you see here and inspect my images, then all you will probably see that all my images are using Cloud Fund. And actually they don't stay onto my web server. It stores directly into S3. And how I do it? I do it with the help of this plugin called WP Offload Media Lite. So this plugin stores all the images to S3 bucket that I configured. And then I pointed a cloud front to that bucket, which gives me a CDN URL for all of my assets. And it also, it also improves the performance of my website because now these images are not loading from my website, but loading from a CDN server, which is actually increasing the speed and performance of my website. So that is also a must have plugin for your, uh, new projects and if you start using this plugin then you will see that you will never store your images again to your server because if your server crashes all the images are gone but now if my server crashes all the images are still on s3 there is all the images are safe and they have a proper backup in s3 bucket and uh, i can just download those files apart from the uh, web server for example, if your web server is down for any purpose and your images are ranked on Google, then still your images are visible to the peoples. So that that's really helps. So I would always suggest to use this WP Upload Media Lite. It's a free plugin. All of these plugins are free. None of them are paid. They have paid versions. For example, Rank Fantasia, they have paid version. Elementor have paid versions. All those are paid versions. But what I'm saying, these plugins are all free and you can still use the free version and do your job. The last plugin I will use, that is the WP Offload ACS Lite. That is a plugin that I use to send emails from the platform using Amazon ACS. So if you don't know ACS, ACS is simple email service, which sends email program via programmatically or application via API. That means, um, for example, we go to Gmail and then send emails. That is, someone is doing typing there. But when we want to send something from our website, like a, a sign up email or a email to a new subscriber, or if I wanted to uh, show a thank you email, or if you wanted to purchase some products and you want to products invoice details, then these kind of emails that is sent from the application, and you need to use a professional platform to send email because if you are sending via ACS, then the credibility, the trust level is high and these emails are not going to spam folder. So Google will treat it well, but if you are sending from this web server and I don't know who used this web server previously, the IP address reputation, I don't know about all of these things. So probably your email will go to the spam. That's the drawback. So I always suggest to use this plugin, WP Offload ACS Lite. You can use Amazon ACS for sending out emails. They are highly professional and they can ensure email delivery to directly your inbox, not to spam. That's the difference. So that being said, these are the major plugins that must have to a new website, I must say. There are some other uh, honorable mentions as well. Uh, for example, uh, if you wanted to use uh, like uh, different kind of social share, there are other social share uh, plugins also available. There are image optimization plugins are available. There is security plugins are available. I haven't mentioned those because those are optionals and these are mandatory. You must install those on a new website. 
So that being said, uh, this is the first video on my WordPress series. I want to create uh, new videos on WordPress SEO and uh, how, how I made it uh, from a non SEO person who created a blog and ranked his page to the Google's number one. So first page, I will discuss my journey with you so that you can also learn how I did that. Thank you. Have a nice day and bye bye. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. That's I beg to you because that gives the Google algorithm a boost and other people can watch this video as well. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.